Hey guys, I'm here to show you how to create your avatar uh, going through the steps that I provided you on Edmodo. So step one says that you need to choose one of the links below and to create your avatar. I've given you five options. I've checked all of these from school. So um, the ones that say home and school mean that you can either create it at home or at school and the ones that are only at home mean that they do not open up or load well at school. So just be mindful of which option you want to use. Uh, you have more flexibility if you do them from home, but if you choose to do them from school, you only have three options to work with. Once you're done, you're going to hit uh, the download option or the save option, uh, or you can take a screenshot, wh uh, whichever way works best for you. Just make sure you know where your file is being saved. And then you're going to log into your Google Drive account. If you haven't created it, then you can click this link and there should be an option to tell you how to create an account. And you can either use your current Gmail account. Well, if you have a current Gmail, then you don't need to create one. But if you don't have a Gmail account, then you're going to have to create something and you can use your current email address if you'd like. Just follow the directions on the screen. Uh, so after you log in to Google Drive, then you need to find, there are two options. If you're using the old version like I use, then it'll say create and then you'll have an up arrow. You're gonna, gonna click the up arrow and then you'll see files. Now if you have the new version, you'll just see the word new on the red box. And then you'll click new and then a drop down menu will pop up and you're looking for files or upload files. Okay, so those are the two options. So be mindful if you're using the old version, you'll see this. If you're using the new version, you'll see the word new. That's what you need to click in order to get started. You need to locate your avatar wherever you saved it. If you're save, doing this from school, then it's going to be in your um, recent, my recent documents um, tab. And then once you click that, click downloads, and then you'll see your file that says my avatar. Just click it, and it will start up the uploading process to Google Drive. If you look at the bottom right, you'll see a window pop up, and it'll say. Um, in the far right corner it'll say cancel once it's done uploading that cancel turns into share you need to click the share option once it um, pops up when it pops up you'll see a chain link and you're going to want to click that button it'll turn green once you click it and it will also give you a new url address for your picture and you need to make sure it says anyone with the link can view so you will right click the link and select copy and then hold on to it because you need to come back to the directions and click this link to submit your avatar by its URL. So you'll click the link and I'll show you what the submission page looks like. This is the submission page. You're going to need to put in your first name, comma, I'm sorry you don't need to use the comma, first name, last initial, then your class period. Make sure you select the correct class period. And then you're going to use your, give me your game player name. Now, in my example, so that you know what to do, um, student Betty Rubble is in third period. So I use the first two letters in her first name and the first two letters in her last name and her period number to come up with her game player name. And that is typed here. So you'll do the same thing for yourself. Then that URL that you copied, you're going to right click and hit the word paste and it will pop right here and then you'll hit the submit button. Once you do that, I will automatically see your avatar's URL pop up on my submission screen and then I will be able to upload it to our game. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.